just uh, leaving the farmer's tree. Can't afford a drug, what fun. I've never had this happen before, but I guess it's uh, gonna happen more and more. After insurance, this drug that I need to try and take care of these lesions, these ugly spots on my face, costs over $500. Well, I'm sorry, these ugly spots on my face, they may be ugly, but they're not life-threatening and I can't afford $500. I won't afford $500. So, no, I will not do that. I'm, I'm walking away. I guess, I don't know, I gotta figure out something else or, or deal with it. So, it's a life in America, I guess. Some people think they can charge that much for something. And, you know, I guess as you get older, the doctor tells you you need a thousand dollar a pill drug to keep you alive you just say well when's the funeral hey how you doing lately i've been feeling this kind of a sense of malaise i think it could be my weird sleep schedule sleeping basically during the day like it's night and, you know because of my work I just kind of feel like things aren't moving fast enough or even at all. It's just kind of stagnant. I don't know. Kids start school on the 8th and uh, uh -huh. we'll see. And uh, I just need to work on some of my projects. I got plenty of them. And until then, I'm going to go get some coffee and try and wake up a little. Coffee. Oh, can I get a receipt, please? Mmm, <laughs> freezy mocha. Ah, coffee. All right, got the donkeys and take them for a little stroll in the pet store. I think part of my reason for my malaise is an unhappy routine I need to get out of. So, running an errand is fitting the bill. They love sniffing. Sniff, 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 sniff. Ah, this is what we came for. Kitty treats. Mission accomplished. The donkeys got out and so did I. Woohoo! Oh yeah, maybe that's all we needed. Just a little break from Probably an unhealthy routine. If I can figure out how to get out of here, this guy is not gonna let me. Sorry, sir, I'm already in the lane. What are you gonna do, squeeze that big ass? Oh, it's a man. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. Or is it a sir? I don't know. I don't know, I don't care. Anyway, let's see, maybe this is an unhealthy routine. We gotta get out of here in one piece. Hey, fine. Well, let me concentrate on doing what I'm doing, which is very important, so. It is about midnight, Friday, at the end of my week, end of a lot of people's weeks, and uh, I'm just coming into work, my crazy shift, which is what I've explained yesterday, it is uh, kind of the source of my malaise, I think. Anyway, see if I'm alone. Looks like I'm alone. Me and the ghost. Unfortunately, I don't see. <laughs> if 
but uh, I'm actually testing out my Rode Wireless. Oh, I'm not alone. What's up? You're not a ghost, are you? What? I don't think so. <laughs> I hope not. I'm not alone. Oh my god. It's time to get to work. Woohoo! Well, wasn't that special? Woohoo! We're having a uh, front yard camp out. Broken out the uh, the really good camera because I need to play with it. And I don't know if it's uh, going to be in focus or not because it really sucks as a vlogging camera, but I'm also testing out this mic. We've got our grill, yeah. got our camper, and we got our fire pit. We got to burn off some uh, excess scrap wood from the backyard. And we've got music and noisy people. <laughs> Oh, and uh, if I can pan up, there's our time lapse going. And it's very hot and humid, and uh, we always joke we don't live in the state of Missouri, we live in misery. And as we can see, I need some practice with this camera. Get some shots of the neighborhood as we're looking. We're gonna get ready to grill here. Woo so this is my actual vlogging camera, and much easier to use for this purpose and I can wander around and stuff. The other camera's more for B-roll and A-roll and stuff like that. Our sucky internet's kept cutting out, so we're listening to Charlie Bar Parker since it's his birthday tomorrow. On our little speaker, which sounds good. What are you gonna say for yourself, Stella? Stella! Get in the pool! of August and it is the hundredth anniversary of Charlie Parker's birth and a lot of people are celebrating today I don't know if I'll get a chance to we'll see and uh, it's also the 15th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina now that's an interesting anniversary for me because I remember well first off Hurricane Katrina hit the area that I used to live and um, really devastated it. It's probably one of the worst hurricanes ever. And um, I also remember what happened after with the refugees coming to Kansas City. I mean, refugees were going all over the country, but um, some came to Kansas City and had a very interesting relationship with some of them. Uh, very, very memorable, you know. Um, I was in the refugee center in Kansas City, which is up 18th and Vine, and uh, this girl came up 
how old was she, 11 years old? She came up and she grabbed a microphone from me. We were shooting, I was shooting it with uh, Bob Stefanich. And so she asked if she could borrow the microphone. She didn't grab it, she asked if she could borrow it, so I let her have it. And she grabs the shotgun mic and sticks it up and starts singing this, uh, this song. And she had a very beautiful voice. And the song was God Bless This Broken Road by Rascal Flats, which I thought was a very appropriate song considering the situation that she was in and all these other people were in. I mean, I was talking to people. Uh, one lady worked at a pharmacy in her apartment. You know, she was pregnant. And her and her husband were up here because her apartment and everything they had was wiped out. And she lived on the Gulf Coast of Mississippi. The girl that sang God Bless This Broken Road was from Slidell, Louisiana, which is where I used to live, like six months. I mean, we lived in a lot of places down on the Gulf Coast, but the last place we lived before we moved up to Missouri was uh, Slidell, Louisiana. So I kind of understand that, that journey to a foreign place and and, you know, missing your home, missing everything that you knew, because we had that kind of journey. I mean, we weren't refugees, but we kind of uprooted quickly and moved up here, and, and you know, life really changed for us a lot. And uh, I remember there was an elderly woman, and uh, she just didn't have any words. She hadn't heard anything but other than rumors. And we kind of had access to things, information through the news and everything. And I had heard that the towns of Bay St. Louis and Waveland had been pretty much wiped out. I mean, they weren't completely wiped out, but a lot was destroyed. And so she asked me kind of point blankly, have you heard anything about where was she from? I think she was from uh, from Waveland, and Waveland did get wiped out. And she's like, "Have you heard anything from there?" And I said, uh, "I had heard, I had heard that it, it was pretty bad, and I didn't have the heart to tell her the whole truth that I had known that everything that she's been familiar with was probably gone." And I lived in Bay St. Louis too, and uh, we went to back to visit in 2007, a couple of years after the hurricane. And talk about a shock. I mean, the elementary school where I went that I remember, Bay High Elementary School, was completely gone. I mean, just wiped off its foundation. And, uh, you know, we went and saw a lot of things down there. And everything was changed from the way I remembered it. So, anyway, that was 15 years ago today. Uh, we just had another hurricane, but maybe stronger, but not nearly as bad as far as its effects. But I'm sure the people who are being affected by it now don't feel that way. So, anyway. I'm going to get some coffee here at Sister Anne's. <laughs> coffee. It's a long overdue project, so we're here at Blows to get some shelving. Finally gonna try and tackle that at video equipment storage room in the basement. Huge mess. Gotta do it. I think this is what I need right yeah. This is going to be a wide road. 
Is Jimmy tired from the store? Oh, this is a TV, which is always on. This is the equipment room, which is still a huge mess, but it's kind of shaving up a little. I don't know what I call an equipment room. Actually, it's just a storage room full of junk. But it's my junk. My junk. Anyway, hopefully these shelves will help out a little. We're doing a Vietnam cafe here across from the Holy Rosary Church. Newly remodeled on the inside, and you can see the lines are forming outside. Newly remodeled. You can move around breathing here. Vietnamese coffee. So we got fried rice and pho and I got my chicken vermicelli. So Zach, does it get your seal of approval? Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. What about you, Miss Sai? Does it get your seal of approval? We'll take that as a yes. Seal of approval. Don't be Five stars. Mm. Walking in Parkville with the dongs. Come on, dong. And a kiddo. Do it, do it, look. Whew. We've now turned around on the trail. It'd be hot for late August. Got a hot tired dog, you know, another hot tired dog in the back seat. And I think a hot tired kid who's really tired is gonna have a nap when he gets home, I bet. I'll bet. Anyway, ugh, that was a good walk. Need to do more of those. And hopefully I'm tired enough I can get some sleep because that's kind of been a big problem, oh mine. And, uh, you know, trying to not being able to get to sleep on my Monday and I'm all tired. For the whole week pretty much you know, these weird hours so hopefully i take a nice shower have a little snack and then um uh, i'm going to uh i'm going to uh sleep well sleep well anyway uh what are we doing Imagine a guy who's backing up his car and not watching at all. That was amazing. He didn't even look. He wasn't even looking behind him as he was backing. 
But anyway, I gotta put your seatbelt on, Jim. Because you're setting my seatbelt off. Yeah. Anyways. This excessive chattering is a sign of a kid who needs a nap. So, anyway. See ya.